Hello. Gang, magandang araw sa inyo. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So let's talk about hentai. Or uh, I mean H anime or hentai. Yeah, boy. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid getting <laughs> demonetized. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, anyway. If you are an avid watcher of the anime, the H, the H anime, I'm pretty sure you're what we call a person of culture in the anime world. I think, or or you're probably a degenerate. I don't know. Uh, I'm not. I'm not actually sure myself. Um, either, either way, you're either gonna be loved for it. Or someone's gonna throw a rock at you for it. But yeah, as an avid H anime enthusiast, a connoisseur, if you will, I've watched a bunch of H anime that you might have not have seen before. Like this one, like this one right here. It's a very romantic H anime. Like these two meet on a train and um, he he uh he molests her. Never mind. Uh, or, or, or this one right here, this one right here. See, such a loving couple, and then, oh, 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 she cheats on him. Oh, okay, never mind. Or what about this one, this one? This woman, or man, almost died and was revived as a woman. So her classmates, uh, they start molesting her. And she gets molested in a train. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, uh, but, um, what about this one? This one. This woman loves her teacher so much that she's willing to get raped for it. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, hentai is a bit fucked up. Fun fact: hentai isn't actually what it means in Japan. Like when we think of hentai, we think of like animated porn, right? But in Japan, it pretty much means that. Well. It means pervert. And, you know, those types of videos that we call hentai are actually called, well, etchy animations, I think. I'm not sure. Correct me on that one. But yeah, I've been thinking a lot about hentai lately, and I've thought of myself that I've never actually watched any anime in English dub. It's kind of crazy when you think about it. Never actually watched any anime in English dub. I've watched anime in English dub. I've voice act in English. But I've never watched any English dub anime. I've actually voiced in, you know, hentai animations in English myself, but I've never actually watched one of those official animes. So yeah, I thought to myself, hey, why don't I watch it? Let's go and watch it, shall we? On the day of my final exams, I received a letter at boarding school telling me that my father had died. Oh damn, well this one, this one starts off with a tragic news, a tragic backstory. This guy's father died. So, will this lead into him banging someone, what? The letter was from my stepmother, Sylvia. My father was a refined man, an aristocrat, but he had lived a life of debauchery. My real mother couldn't deal with his infidelity, and one day she hanged herself from a giant oak tree. Ah yes, ah yes, nothing gets me harder than seeing a dead body hanging from a tree. I'm kidding, put a slash J or something. Damn, she got some... You got a big heart. Jean, is it really you? Wow, you're so big. That's not the only thing that's big. I don't believe it. Oh, oh, it's one of those. I could swear Sylvia looks exactly like my real mother. Yep, 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 yep. It's one of those. It's one of those. Oh, no. Could my mind be playing tricks on me? 
I've never had a relative like pull me down, my head down to their chest, man or woman or anything between or neither. Like, I, 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 like no one's ever hugged me with their titties. Even her gargantuan knockers remind me of Mama. What bless? <laughs> what the? What the fuck is this? Even her gargantuan knockers remind me of their, my mama. Like, how do you? Is that how you describe your mama? What, what the fuck? So, what do you think of my cooking, Jean? These biscuits are delicious. They remind me of the kind my mother used to make when I was a little boy. Oh, that makes me so happy. This this dude won't stop talking about his mama. Yeah, this guy got Oedipus complex all over. I've got to get the recipe from you. I'm a bit of a chef myself, you know. Wow, that's a surprise. I thought only gay boys like to cook. <laughs> what, what the? What? What? Huh? Well, I guess Gordon Ramsay's a, a gay boy, according to her. <laughs> huh? Can we help you? You can get your flabby tits off my tablecloth. Sorry. My bad. You think you're staying at the Ritz or something? Damn! Damn! Why, why, why is she coming with that kind of energy? Like, who is she? What the fuck? What is going on? Like, imagine, like, get your flabby tits off my table. What the what, what the fuck, man? Man, if I, if I see someone with flabby tits, I wouldn't say, get your flabby tits off the table. I'd say, Come here! You're not here to chit-chat and play footsie under the table. You're here to take orders and to work till you drop. You got that, fuckface? <laughs> yes, we understand. Get your big tits over to the main house and start mopping the floors. Fuckface, I want you to head over to the stables. And you two cream puffs better put your backs into it. That is, if you want to keep on getting room and board from us. Otherwise, out on your asses you go. Oh, you've got nowhere else to go. I already know that, you stupid cunt. <laughs> oh my god, why is she so mean? Oh my god, oh, what the fuck? Oh my god. Just do as you're told and you'll have a nice warm place to shit in. Nice, nice. A nice home to sit in. Oh my god. Ugh, if I look for a house someday, I'm, I'm gonna be like, you know, I'm looking for a nice house to shit in. You're such a bitch! Do watch that tongue, you little fuckface. <laughs> Why did you keep calling him fuckface? It's like the third buck face I've heard. You look like you might want to strangle me. I dare you to. Come on. Afraid? Poor little fuck face doesn't Oh my god, that's the fourth one. What the fuck? She she loves the word buck face, I guess. I want to end up all alone out in the cold without a warm place to shit. How sad. Am I right? You're right. <laughs> When I was little, my sister and I used to play in the garden. She'd catch snails and I'd crush their backs while she wept over the slaughter. Oh my god! What, what the fuck? What, what, what the fuck? Why tell me that? No reason. I just felt like sharing. Oh my god. No reason. I just felt like sharing about how I slaughtered animals. Oh my god. What the fuck is this hentai? How, how am I gonna get hard from this? Whose dick gets hard from this? What the fuck? Wait. Who, tell me. Who gets erect from this? What? You kept me waiting, fuckface. Oh my god. That's like the fifth one. That's the fifth one. Yes! Finally! We get to some action! It doesn't make sense, like, she was bullying him the entire time, and now... She's making out with him, I guess. <gasps> you stink of cunt juice! 
<laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Is this how is this how women catch their lovers cheating? You stick up! You stick of cut juice! Oh my god! I'm gonna use that one. I'm gonna use that one. You stick of cut juice, bitch! It's Tina's, oh. isn't it? Answer me. Well, I don't like to kiss and tell, but. <laughs> From now on, the only cunt juice I want to smell on you is my own. And don't let me pick up the scent of another woman's asshole on you either. Only your cunt juice. Don't forget about the asshole scent, wise guy. Well, there's one thing I can say about this woman is she has a keen sense of smell. My grandfather was incredible. He could sniff out a fart from across the room. Whoa, what? What? Okay, I just I just made a comment about someone's I just made a comment about someone's sense of smell and what? What? Who opens a conversation like that? Who starts their thoughts with that? And even though he barely spoke to me and basically treated me like scum, I could tell we had formed a bond that day, with my flatulence hanging in the air like musk incense. <laughs> I bet you think I'm really perverted, don't you? Of course not. You're my stepson and I love you. Then why not prove it? I want to feel your love. Feel it right on the end of my dick. Because that's not how you show love to your step parents. It's not that, that that's not how you show love to your step parents. Dude. I want to do the nasty with you now. I've waited a long time for this. Are you ready to receive my big dick? Well, at least he's getting consent, right? Like, like that, that's I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use that. The next time I have sex, I'm gonna ask, "Are you ready to receive this big dick?" We have to stop now. We can't take it any further. What the hell are you talking about? You already blew me for Christ's sake. So what gives? You know, a headache. A headache? Bull fucking shit. <laughs> I honestly would have the same reaction. Even if I want to, we can't go on like this, Jean, and you know it. I say fooey to that, okay? I don't care what society thinks about our love. Don't. We can't. It goes against the laws of nature. You've got a pussy and I've got a cock. What about that? <laughs> I mean, he makes a good point. It's true. I've got a pussy and you've got a cock. I've got a cock. <sighs> and I think you'll agree it's a very nice cock, even if it does curve to the left a bit. Well, at least he, at least he described it, since this is censored. Uh, well, feel free to picture it in your head. Honestly. Huh? <laughs> A cigar? I wonder if it's Cuban. I bet you'd like a finger up your ass right about now. Not really. I've been having a problem with hemorrhoids lately. <gasps> Careful back there. I had some jalapenos with lunch. You might get a nasty surprise. She had, she had jalapenos for lunch. <laughs> nasty surprise. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> My grandfather died that night, with his rock-hard cock in my stepmother's pussy. Not the worst way to go. I mean, if I had to go, that would be the way to go for me. And I can't blame him for picking Sylvia to be the last fuck of his life. At Sylvia's insistence, I had my grandfather's cock bronzed. It makes for a very unique paperweight. Why would you have it cut bronzed? What, what, what the? You, you know what? If I die, have my dick bronzed. Maybe gold even, or platinum. It'll make a nice paperweight. I've had my fling, and all I need is you. My 88 D's are all yours. 88 D's! 88 D's! 88 D's! That's fucking huge! Oh my god! And you can use me or abuse me. It's up to you. I'm open to anything. 
Dirty Sanchez, golden showers, brown showers, toss salads, any of the thousand variations of ass play. Brown sh brown brown showers. Wait, wait, they died? What? 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 So they so it ends up with them dying? Like what? How am I supposed to get hard to that? What, like, what kind of what kind of hentai ends up with the main character dying? What? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of me just reacting to hentai. Think of gun gone the deep end of making content i guess i'm i guess i'm reacting to hentai now like how low have i fallen how low but my pants hasn't gone lower ever since i started watching